Hey 2020 users, um, it's Travis again. Uh, I am making another video here uh, wanting to go over uh, textures, where to use them, how to use them, the best way to use them, and how they can really make your, uh, your, your drawings look really, really good. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, uh, 2020 does not have the best of the best when it comes to textures, you know, for flooring or for walls or whatever the case may be. Um, and so uh, sometimes it's best to use your own uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that and, and how to make sure that those actually come out. How to make sure those come out really nicely. Um, all right, so I've got uh, this, let's see here, let's pull this, let's pull this drawing up here. All right, so this is the kitchen we're working with. Um, I purposely left the floor alone um, because this is a generic uh, texture and I really hate it <laughs> and I wanted to show you how first of all I, I realized that maybe you guys don't know how to do this um, how to change the flooring in here so I want to go over that too um, the, 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 did you, well just so you know anything at all that you see in your drawing you can put a texture on anything at all um, whether it be the, the flooring the cabinets the countertop, uh, the ceiling, anything you want, you can put a texture on. Now you have the option of making, uh, let's, let's start out here, well, let, let's take a look actually, let's take, take a look at this drawing real, real quick. This drawing, um, I did something that I don't, that I haven't ever done before, which is to use this, this green, this is a green brick, uh, green brick wall here. And the only reason why I did that is because it's how they have it in their house, obviously. So I wanted to mimic what it is in their house. So I put it up there, and um, as you can see, the rest of these walls are a different color. I've got like a beige color. Um, and so um, I wanted to kind of go over how you would do something like this. Basically, what what I had to do here was um, to make things a little bit easier on the uh, on on the, just the logistics logistics of it. Is I kept these this wall these walls right here are the ones that are brick and I kept them separate from the other walls so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is double click on the walls and you want to make sure that well in this case I went to all walls so I went to the wall group all of them um, you can choose individual walls but whatever you know this one I had to choose wall group and then we want to what you want to do is go to the material and go to your uh, textures. So basically, if you're not familiar with uh, making your own textures, what you, all you're going to have to work with is what's in your common catalog textures. So you know you've got stone. Uh, I think they even have a brick in here. I'm pretty sure they have a brick. Yeah, so they have a brick here, and so you you do have a few options here. I didn't use any of these because they just didn't look well. They weren't green, so I was trying to make it right. But anyway. Um, a lot of these just don't look very good. Um, you can't, you know, even with the, 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 well, especially with the tile. The tiles in here are just terrible. So anyway, what you can do is you can go over to the user texture library. Uh, there's a beautiful picture of me, and I'll actually explain to you why I have that in here in just a minute. But um, what you'll do is you'll, you'll come over here and you'll browse to add a new texture. So what you want to do is you know get that texture in there, but before you even do that, you want to get whatever it is that you're looking for. So for instance, you know if you're looking for a brick, you look up. You can just go right to Google and just look up brick and look up pictures. Now what you want to do when you do these is you want to make sure that you're getting um, a picture that has no borders on it. So, right. So it's you want to high high definition. This is a great example. So you've got this picture that has no borders on the edge. Because what you what, what you're going to do is when you create these textures, it's going to repeat itself, and so when you, when it repeats itself, you don't want that border to show up on the edges. Um, a, a, an example of that would be something like um, let's see if I can find one here. You know what? I'm probably wasting your time here because you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, let's just let's just do this. Let's use this as a perfect example. No, to prove a point, I got to use something else. Let's use 
let's use this. Okay, so we're going to use this as your as your what you want to use for brick. If you want to use brick, so what you want to do is just save the image and save it wherever you want to save it. And it looks like this one actually no. You know what? I'm not going to use this one. It's not in the right format. Sometimes you won't get the right format to be able to use in your drawings. So let's go. Um, let's go with uh, this one right here. So this one's got no borders. It does have this little thing up here, but that's okay. So save image as. So this is a JPEG. Go to pictures. Save it. You know what? I think the other one probably was right. Now that I think about it. So what you'll do is you save your picture, right? And then you go back to your 2020. You go to your textures, and you want to add a texture. So what you want to do here is go down to this right here. And that's what you that's what we're wanting to use. Now, um, the thing is, though, if you notice here, this is the width, the scale, the scale width here is 12 inches. Scale height is 6.75. That's just this, that's just the ratio of the picture itself. Thing is, though, is that if you use this picture uh, for your for your walls, these are all going to be really small because if this is a 12 inch period, if this is just a little 12 inch area, uh, these are all going to be really small. So I'll give you, I'll show you exactly what that means. So we are going to use that. Apply and OK. So I'll show you what I mean when we come in here. The walls. Going to have a whole bunch of tiny tiny little <laughs> bricks and obviously that's not the real size of a brick so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of scale this up and how you do that go back to your material and you can only do this if you go to user texture library not textures and current design so you go to user texture library and you go to the picture so you go there and you can change this now i'm going to just take a wild guess and say that if i bring it up to I'd say probably four times the size. It's going to automatically bring the height up to the same. Okay, so 48 by 27. That's probably going to be about right. And even if it's not, I'm not going to waste your time. You, I think you get the idea. Um, so apply that, and we've got yeah. So that's pretty good. You got a pretty good size there. So that would be how you would apply that to a wall. Um, you can also do this for the flooring, and I highly suggest. That you get the same, you know, the same thing as, as here. You get some, get some tiles, get some wood flooring, things like that. Use the same kind of idea as far as no borders, things like that, um, and bring that into your drawing. So what I'm going to do here, if you don't know how to do this, you can change your flooring right here at the textures display settings, and uh, you know, there's a lot of things you can change here, but we're just going to focus on the floor. So we've got the floor here, obviously visible, and do the same thing. You take, use a texture in your um, in your library, and I like this one. It's a pretty good one. So we've got that, and now you've got. And I, this one I also scaled up to. Originally it was a little too small, but kind of brought it up to like basically a 24 by 24 looking tile. And once it fin finishes rendering, it's actually a pretty good looking tile. Now you can also do this with your countertop, which actually this countertop is. A perfect example of one that I, I I mean the countertops are terrible as well. I hate what you have as options for countertops. So all I all I did was went on Google and I looked up Giallo Ornamental Light, which is a very popular granite color, and I used that for a texture on the countertops. Um, and the way that you would do that is you would just right click here, go to the countertops, go to the attributes, go to the variables, and the countertop texture and you're just going to bring this you know to the to your textures uh the user textures now now what if you have a backsplash you want to do now this one this one you're going to want to do something a little bit different so let's say instead of having this four inch backsplash here i wanted to do a i wanted to do like say a uh i don't know we're going to choose another backsplash anyway. So what you'll do is you go up to items and you go to surface. Surface is also another way that you can use if you want to, if you have like two different conjoining rooms with two different kinds of flooring. So we just changed all the flooring here to the flooring that I, I just picked. But let's just say like right here is a split and all of this is hardwood floors. So you do the same thing. You use surface 
and do the same thing, but I'm going to show you this with a backsplash. So you've got backsplash here. So what you're going to do is you're going to use surface. Now, in some cases, you, you're going to want to turn off the area snap um, because it will automatically click uh, to wherever it is that you're choosing. Um, that's got you know a three inch. This it, it automatically snaps to three inches to whatever is closest to it. So you just right click. By the way, what I did there at the end, once I'm up to where I need to be, I just right click, and when I right click, it automatically brings the last line to bring up to connect it all. And what you'll do here is you'll go into your texture again and just choose your texture. So here, let's just uh, do it. Let's do a split face. So this one is a split face. And there you go. There's your, there's your surface. So I'm going to apply that. OK. And let's take a look at it. So there you go. There's your backsplash. So that's how you that's how you add it. That, well, that's how I add a backsplash. There's other ways you can do it. This is the way I like to do it because you, I have a lot of freedom of how I want how you can apply it. Um, there's you know adding adding that surface uh, texture. Now here's just a little tip. I, I've got about three minutes left here. I'm going to show you something that I think is pretty cool. Let me just pause this for a sec. Okay, so here's just a little something that I like to do, just because it is always when it, <laughs> If you're in sales, you're gonna understand where I'm coming from here. Um, I like to make people laugh. I like to keep them keep them upbeat, and, and this is just kind of something I like to do to, to, to have some fun. When you go into your um, catalog, catalogs and you go into the decorations, uh, I like to go to the wall decorations, frames, and just pick out you know a silly frame here. That's, but I need it to be a specific ratio though, so something like that. Or you know what? Yeah, that that'd be fine. So you know, put it out. Uh, Sorry, I'm gonna put it out here. Let's make it. We're gonna make it uh, really small here. So we're gonna say the width is gonna be six inches, height is gonna be twelve inches, and there you go. And I'm gonna go into here. I got attributes, variables, and scenery texture. Guys, I'm telling you, if you do this, you're going to get a laugh every time, and it's great. I love it. So I'm going to put my picture in here, put my picture in there, and what I'll do is I'll put it on the refrigerator. And the reason I do this is because if you think about it, um, <laughs> if you think about it, if you kind of make it so it looks like you're part of the family, it's pretty funny. It is pretty funny. Um, we'll put it at 40 inches high. Yeah. This isn't exactly how I would do it. I'm running out of time here, but just to give you an example, throw my picture up there, and by the time it gets done rendering, you know, obviously they say, hey, what's that? Well, you got your family picture on the, uh, on the refrigerator. And I'm telling you, you guys do that. Just take a picture, put it in all of your, all of your drawings as, like, your signature. It is great. It makes people laugh so much, and, it, and, and laughter is the best way to keep someone, you know, lighthearted, keep them, you know, interested in you, and, and, and basically just, you know, keeping a good rapport and have, make, making friends. That's what it's all about. So that's just one little thing. Um, there are some more things about textures that I, I would love to uh, go over, but unfortunately I'm running out of time on this video. Um, so this will be just another video that I'll just put in about renderings, uh, but specifically about textures. So. If you guys are liking these videos, I would appreciate it if you throw a thumbs up on there and subscribe. I'm going to continue to do some more tutorials. If you have any advice um, on either things that I'm doing, because obviously uh, I'm sure that there's, there's, well, I know there's a million different ways you can do things on 2020 that might be more efficient um, than what I'm doing. Um, these are just ways that I've learned how to do them. But if you, uh, if you have any suggestions as far as some things that you'd like to know how to do, I'm uh, more than happy to make those videos as well. But again, your feedback is always appreciated. Uh, thumbs up are always appreciated. And if you have any advice, that is also appreciated. Uh, much love, guys. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.